Hello and welcome, my name is Aichan, I'm a dedicated Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links streamer on Twitch and today we are going to continue with the third part of my casual potato series. And in this part I'm going to explain to you the third part of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links world map which is called Shop. So as you can see here on the main interface from the shop, there's already the card trader in front and there's a one over his head so he's got new cards for me. Let them check them out. Okay. I think I have already all of them, at least three copies for each of them, even the penguin. So that means I will not buy a new one because it doesn't make sense. I can't play four copies of one card. But in case that there is a new card you want to buy, you can see the acquired cost below. And that is actually why you need gold. And gems are needed to buy cards from the new boxes which are released by Konami on a regular basis and gold is actually used to buy cards from the card trader so you have two different currencies in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links you need to accumulate so you can get along and for a card from the card trader you doesn't only need gold but you also need like these javels called ultra rare super rare or like uh, rare javels and those one with the elements and you can get these by actually trading your non-used cards you can convert them yeah so trading means just buy one of these cards and to conversion you can click below it says to card conversion for example i'm just going to list a lot of cards i have so for example i have <laughs> these three copies of crystal beast amethyst cat um, I could just convert this, yeah, see, then I can click on them, which one I want to convert. But if you have a lot of these cards, it's maybe annoying to click on each of them. And in that case, you can just click on batch convert in the right corner at the top and just choose which cards you want to keep. like. Basics, three of them, glossy, three of them, prismatics, and um, the rank is like convert by basic glossy to prismatic or convert by card name, that's also possible. And sometimes, you, if you want to convert your super rare ultra rare cards, you can even click on those and then just convert them. So, if you convert a card into ultra rare javel, some money, um, and the element javel, it's not possible to return the process. So basically your card is gone. So you just, just think about it maybe twice before you do it or just do it selectively, especially when you are a new gamer and just started to play. And um, recently Konami also added uh, the possibility to upgrade your cards to glossy and prismatic. For example, regular inventory, we just view list. So which cards we have we could actually upgrade for example for example i could upgrade here my kaiba man it cost me like a hundred thousand gold two ultra rare javels and 60 from the light javels i have should we should we not think about it later no. or the rose lover so and if you scroll until the end of the trade, you can always trade a hundred like um, normal keys for the for the gate to colored keys, like ten of each, if you want to. And you can do that every day with the card trader. So if you are missing some colored keys, you can always go to the card trader. Oh yeah, one tip for the main interface of the shop: you can click on the sign of the shop here without entering it. So in the middle on this card here, and if you're lucky you sometimes also get gems. I wasn't lucky today, obviously. So now we enter the real card shop and that's actually the core or the machine of the Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, how to say, money machine. You are going to buy boxes because you need those cards to put together your decks and with your decks you go dueling, right? Without deck, without cards, no decks, no decks, no dueling, no ranked and then that's end of game. Um, you can see here a lot of important notes, terms of use, forbidden and limited cards, bulk, purchase settings, whatsoever. Uh, I think for starters, players, maybe just the forbidden and limited is interesting because this tells you which cards are limited to one or two. Yeah. And to buy the 
by the boxes, you actually can play Evil Gems, which you communicate by dueling standard, legendary, and event duelist, or you can spend real money on it, as you can see here. I already spent two bucks, I think, on three packs with one guaranteed ultra rare, but I really got lucky because I got my um, first silver cry from that, which is used for the legendary uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon deck, which is just below me. You can see the deck recipe just there. So I started playing, there was just Ultimate Rising and a side box, and then they came Neo Impact and side box. Oh, it's one main box and one side box, sorry. Just misspelled. English is not my native language. Oh. And now if we go outside of here, I think that's everything you need to know as a beginner for the part of the shop. And in next part, we are going to explain about deck editors Ooh, all the magic thank you for dropping by um if you have any questions just leave them in the comments am i trying to answer them as soon as possible and see you next time in casual potato series